Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Looking yeah. forward to Stewie and Shauna, yeah. Ah, oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we need you with more. It all happens on a Friday here, folks. Wow. Friday fire pit. Tis. Oh. Warm your hat. Of all the weeks to have a fire pit, we today is the day. Yep. I, wouldn't mind, I did crank up my own fire pit at home a few weeks ago because I felt, oh, this is the mm. point of the year now where you, there's a, a sweet spot enough of... There's no energy like, crisis in your gaff. It can't be absolutely freezing, right, to have the uh, fire pit. If it's too cold, the fire pit is of no use. Yeah. If it's too warm, it's pretty pointless as well. But uh, no, we've all been put back in our box. Mm. What's happening? Uh, what is happening? I... I'll tell you what's happening. Yeah, go on. What's up? Off the back of our uh, new look Irish football talk at the top of the show. Um, that was off the back of our pre-show meeting when we talked about new look, new look on a jersey. Jerseys, jerseys, great jerseys, favourite jerseys. So we were talking about what's your favourite jersey in the sport. But before we get to any of that, we were talking about the new look logo and crest for Ireland. Mm-hmm. So that's what it is on screen there. That's the Boston American yeah. looking pub. Pretty good. Or, you know, knockoff pennies, duns, whatever way you want to look at it. So we said, can we do any better than that? Well, oh, he's ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, step up. Cameron Hill, yeah, who has designed yeah, yeah. this look, look at this. for Irish football. Now, he look has it on beauty. screen there. You see it now in a second. And there's that. a picture. There you have it on screen. There it is now, in quality. That is, <laughs> yeah. I guess, I guess. <laughs> that is beautiful. 4K. The simplicity of it. The shamrock. <laughs> Your yeah. favourite word underneath. That was the you know? that was the one that was on the blue jersey. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You basically just copied the one that was on the blue jersey. Yeah, had it up on the screen and just kind of traced it. Yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. not far off, is it? No, it's not too far off. I was kind of thinking, what will I do? Um, but yeah, apparently we were all meant to do it, but true to form, back in school, I was the only one to do the homework. Well, so. to be absolutely fair about the whole thing, of course, it was like suggested at 25 past seven and we've been slightly busy. Inspired in and... Um, Full ad break to do, well, but anyway. This is what I want to know from the artist himself. Mm. Limited time. Yeah, simple A4 sheet and a pen. Yeah, what happened? How, wh- wh- well, what was basically, the process? I haven't been doing much of my job today. I I spent most it's of actually the day. performance review. Yeah. This is my performance review. Yeah, I just you know got Are out. Little- I had the four, the four, you know, the four ink one. Yes. So I said, oh, oh, yeah. I can oh yeah, go yeah. nuts here. All right, put a bit of green, bit of blue, and then yeah, it was spent a good bit of the show drawing a shamrock which... by the way it says Cameron Hill age redacted that is one of the great mysteries of OTV we'll never know Cameron's age he's like a Jesse Lingard he'll always be young yeah you know? I, I, I have Jesus, the information I didn't know where that comparison was going Shane that's yeah. always young uh, dodgy territory mm. <laughs> I, am, I have the pleasure of being privy to the information but it shall not be revealed ah. mm. redacted it shall remain okay. the mystery but um, thank you for the creation because, thank you um, yeah. You know, Adrian, it takes a lot to do that in such a short space of time mm. to be that creative. Are we ending else on the list or are we going to like... <laughs> I, I'm yours? fine with the praise, to be honest, if that's yeah, okay. Yeah, well, I thought about that. Well, I mean, Adrian, I did touch on it there, but I just wanted to get the art, first bit of art on the show, bit of culture, no harm, especially mm. on a Friday. First bit of art in the but, show, yeah. Um, first bit what of I'd like to hear, Adrian, because yeah, I, I can feel your impatience there, you're of, tapping of all, away. Of like. all the days to say the first bit of art in the show. Colour yeah. book. Yeah. That was the, that was the joke mm. there. And so your favourite, um, your favourite jersey... Adrian. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have to be football. Go, go with somebody else. Go with somebody else. Cameron, come on. You've been thinking. Right. Shane Hannon is, is doing the, oh, the distant thing. Yeah, yeah I'm like sort of doing, doing the really really hard. Just Enjoy that. Well. Smell the fart acting. Monaghan 1988 Ulster title winner. Simplistic, white, lovely blue collar. Yeah. Very simple, just the crest. Simple as best, I think, when it comes to jerseys. Who's the sponsor? There was no sponsor. Oh, that wasn't pre sponsor days, was it? Or was it just a man and couldn't get a sponsor? I don't know. <laughs> Does this is the new no, there was definitely era. sponsors at that point. I, not in the retro jersey I have. Pack on uh, the made jersey is one that comes to mind. This okay. Mon- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was simple. No, I'm no. not talking about the... That was a nice jersey, but I mean more that there were actually sponsors. No, I think it was... You see, it's simple. No, there's nothing on it. I'll, you can see a photo of it there. It's kind of... It's you'll nice. not be able to see it on screen. You'll, you'll, have, to, you'll have to Google you have to look it up. Yeah. <laughs> you Google that yourself, Terry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, we, haven't, we haven't prepared this <laughs> item, so you just Google away. There, there you go. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't put a thought into it. That, that'll be my answer, I have to say. Simple. Italian 90 Ireland jersey is an obvious uh, answer, but... Mm. Too obvious, maybe. I have a few interesting ones, like uh, Trevor Giles... Was that the one... So, sorry, 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 go on, sorry. Go ahead. That wasn't the one with the perforated... Was that 88 with the perforated um, arm on it? I had that one at home. I think that might be my, my that favorite. That was the 88 one, wasn't it? Italian Remember that with the little white purple? You're all looking with sort of blank stares as if to say perforated. What? What are we talking Raiders, about? Yeah. There was a lovely. Um, well, I'll have to start googling now, and you can fill the air by coming yeah. talking about something else. <laughs> well, I, I was just saying, uh, Trevor Giles. People probably know where that's going already, but the, the short sleeve look like I mean, he broke. Yeah, yeah, parts, yeah. But uh, the way he wore that, and then three years later, 
Cameroon at the 2002 World Cup. Do you remember their vest top? Cameroon Hill. Cameroon Hill. They had a yeah. vest jersey with the bl- kind oh, of black yeah. underneath t-shirt looking design. And then, this, this kind of an unusual jersey category, a subcategory within this topic, mm-hmm. is Manchester United's away jersey in the 2001-02 season was reversible. reversible. I had one. The white and the gold. What a... What it unusual. Was, it was too heavy though. What a novel idea. And also United yeah. uh, in 98-99 had their own Champions League jersey specifically mm. for the Champions League and a different one for the Premier League. Marketing. Way ahead of I their time. I thought was, you'd be all over that. I think that was 88, by the way, and it's an absolute cracker jersey. It has the old crest on it that this one is sort of based on with the orange circle around it and the green right. shamrock. They could have done actually worse, looking at it here, than put that shamrock in the middle of that crest. I, yeah, I more, like that shamrock. Um, more authentic. I had that jersey at home, the little crossover collar on it with the orange line through it. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah. Belter I love that. of a jersey. You see, I love. I actually really do love hearing people's stories about their favourite jerseys because it brings back. Oh, I'm emotion, straight back to memories. It. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, incorporating the sponsor into the jersey is an art form in itself. I love when it's it really blends well with the jersey because, like, having the sponsor there and having a clunky. I think it's the one problem I'd have with like the old Westmead ones is that big yellow square for the Renault kind of took away from it just a touch they, I see I don't know why they so they did that for a couple of years and then somebody went oh do you know what we'll just put that in white and stick it on the jersey and now it looks class yeah it looks way better I love that yeah it's a I subtle little um, it a, a Susan class a Susan yeah. do you try in the most interviews you do just, just you're a, a bit like bit, he says Malachi O'Rourke you say something in French yeah yeah, yeah. Frankish. Okay. someone uh, actually Fergus Kyo wants you to do more French pronunciations here Cameron in the comments yeah because he yeah. gave out about my pronunciation of no le gray that's exactly time. what he's mentioning here yeah exactly yeah. well listen Fergus okay your no sponsor point um, totally agree with um, the Lions jersey from 2001 Sponsor NTL, yeah, and for ah, whatever yeah. reason, that just works beautifully with that jersey. So it was ah, predominantly yeah. navy with red on the top third, let's say, and in the bottom two thirds was navy. I was at home recently, home home in Cork, and opened the cupboard in there. Was at home? Or the water. Oh, that's an interesting story. Well, I'm just saying it was a nice jersey. You know, that's the whole topic. Yeah, yeah. You can get on board with it or you can't. I can move on. <laughs> that's the if, whole topic. If you're not into this, that's the whole I'll topic. Move on, you know? It's the defensive tone I mean, now. I look, Cork. Aging. Cynicism is the easiest position. I'm just saying that creativity is cool the story, is bro. respect, the, uh, you know. What the kids say. I can move on. If people aren't feeling this, there's no problem at all. Um, mm. My favourite jerseys are, well, um, people who follow or are kind of rugby hipsters like myself. The Sevens ones are used to be back in like the 2010s, used to be absolutely fire. You'd look at them and it was the um, great pity of us not being really Sevens material is that we never got our chance to do it in the early 10s but some of them are sublime but I think the best jerseys are the Argentina World Cup away ones in rugby they're if you, Argentina again, do a good jersey across the it, board it, yeah they? I think it just yeah they really get it right don't they I love but the 2015 World Cup one is sublime what was that it's just really subtle dark blue but kind of fades to a lighter blue down the jersey oh nice stop the lights oh Adam's hiding. we have a comment uh, ourselves here Colin pick up the jersey to your right Irish women's jersey lovely yeah. very nice yeah. sign there do you know what we could do um, so for be next week's show because it huh? would tap into your outrageousness huh? and if everybody's on board for this my outrageousness wear, yeah wear the most outrageous jersey that you have in the cupboard at home oh wow okay. has to be a jersey I bought, I, and I think about this specifically because I know exactly what I'm wearing yeah it has to be a jersey I have one next Friday I have one I, uh, yeah next Friday what do you think right I have I, I have um, I've um, I bought a Hurricanes uh jersey when I was in New Zealand and it's a big yellow thing and I thought ah oh, like it's a bit mad but it'll be great and I'll wear that for ages and I just I think I wore it a little bit we have to remember to do this now next Friday we'll do it no I have one. Oh no show next Friday we have a show next Friday it's good point oh we don't no we don't we don't <laughs> uh, we'll still wear them on Friday how about that we'll, we'll wear them at a when, moment when we're yeah. back after that yeah, yeah. we'll send you we'll send up a whatsapp group here's what I'm wearing today mm. alright yeah. that's good yeah. that's great um, now another topic I want to discuss because um, I'm getting notes here that the next slot is ready and I'm excited about that. I do want to give that enough time. Yeah. But I do like this question. Which sporting event would you go back to in time to experience again? Live. Again? Again? Or just or one you would Well, you, you experience it again or one that you missed. You wish you were there. Maybe you, were, you loved one so, loved an event I would just so go much. I straight to, to Westmead 2004 Leinster final. I think you've told me that story maybe three times. Yeah. yeah but that's it. Like uh, 2009 Grand Slam game against Wales would be there. Mm. 
There or thereabouts, as, the, uh, as they say. Pinnacle. I wish I was alive and there for Loftus Road, 1985. Barry McGuigan beats Pedroza. Is this a different conversation, though? No, 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 no. no. Uh, an event I wish I was I, The at. parameters of this I wasn't conversation. There, so, so I wasn't there. just become very loose. The parameters of the <laughs> conversation should it's be set It's boring to person. say, oh, I wish I was at this event again. Well, that's, 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 I, I that's, at, that's what you were asked. Yeah, but the 2013 Oster I mean, final was great. I mean, you can't bend the rules. I, I mean, I was there. I don't need to relive it again. It's the bloody fire pit, Shane. You no, can't no, just no. bend the rules. The better, the better discussion is a sporting event that you weren't at. But that's not the question that was asked. Yeah, but it was, though. Yeah, because the person who pitched it, me... <laughs> is that what you meant? That's what I meant. Yeah, well, I wish I was there. <laughs> I, meant, for I wish I was there. Yeah, well, you, you know what? Like, if you, you might have just said, you know, you could have just said, Lone that. Cyclone Lone High. To, I, That's per, what I thought it was fairly clear cut, but clearly I need to break it down I into didn't understand the assignment. simple, simple terms. Jesus. That's two assignments you've missed. Now. I have a match program from uh, from that fight signed yeah. by Barry McGuigan. Oh, wow. Viking Gale GA jersey in Denmark is a beaut. Pictures, Tommy, would be great to bring that on. Tommy, Tommy. But I do like the shouts. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the tattoo I wanted to get uh, was the Cantona when seagulls follow yeah, the trawler it's because they think that. sardines will be thrown into the sea. We, does, are our audience totally unaware that oh, we mentioned it briefly earlier, did we? Briefly, yeah, I said that, yeah. Get, what sporting quote from a sporting person would you would you most like to get tattooed if mm. you were so inclined? If you were forced to get a tattoo of a sporting quote. Does that work as a pictorial version of the quote? Could you just have a trawler and a lot of seagulls behind Oh, it? much better idea. You should consult together. Cameron for your next, you next get, piece yeah. of then how do you know it's, it's Cantona? Do you have to get something Cantona? I have Cantona on the little, boat. F- little French flag, Cantona, Cameron? Little French flag on little the French boat. Little French, French flag. flag. Yeah, uh, or uh, drapeau, as they say in French. Do you know what? I might, I might get this tattoo and, and Chapeau for, for, for Chapeau. Yeah, yeah. Chapeau. I'm going to do it, yeah. Would you do that? Yeah. Would you do it for the name of content? I would actually get my sister to maybe design it. She's a graphic designer, so she can draw it up for me. Could Adrian do the tattoo after a few lessons? Yeah, we get Adrian some lessons the tattoo. Yeah, no, I don't yeah, think that'd be after four weeks. a good idea. And then we'll film Adrian do it. Yeah, you wouldn't do it. I mean, that, that's so you now. Even if you were able to do it, you wouldn't do it. Mm. That'd be ridiculous. If I was able to do it, well, I feel like you would refuse an artist. No, why would grounds. I do that? I feel like you would. <laughs> trying to think, how would you draw? How would you um, imagine as a tattoo, like as a picture, the Brian O'Driscoll? Knowledge is knowing a tomato. Oh, a it's a tomato and it's a rugby ball and. But now wisdom a is knowing not putting it in a fruit salad. Are you kind of how do you make someone look well, reluctant then, then, to put a tomato? Then don't in put something. a fruit salad in your. Uh, but that's the uh, a I, big big tattoo of Brian O'Driscoll's face. Jeez. Cameron could design the tattoo potentially because he's, yeah. he's there you got go. priors here. That's that. the, I mean because that was so good. Yeah, good. very good. Yeah, yeah guys. The Viking Gaze so jersey is gorgeous. Is it? Our own Dara there just put it into the chat. That's the one that Tommy Tommy mentioned that's, that's in the live YouTube comments. Oh my God. Have a look. <laughs> well, I'm um, look, Dara oh, found wow. it in 10 seconds, you know. <laughs> you're, telling, you're telling our audience to Google. Yeah. Go, yeah. There's so much really going food, on there, but it's uh, it, We can't feed you everything. Are you, are you actually going to get a um, tat of um, uh, of the, can- the well, trawler? Well, of something. I think I will, yeah. I think no, I, so you're, you're genuinely the, you're within, de- within the next month or two, yeah. Right, month. Let's just put a date on it. Do yeah. What is it? Tenth of March. Tenth of March. Where will you get it? Of, t- where in your body will you get it? <laughs> this question got asked earlier. Where will you get a it? A tattoo. I got that shop down the keys there. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very good. I'll get it somewhere in the arm, on the left arm, maybe. All my tattoos are on the left side of my body. Are All you going to be? Because at the rate, what what age did you get your first tattoo? I was on the J one. I was twenty twenty one. And what age are you now? Twenty two. Uh, I'll be thirty this year. <laughs> twenty two. Okay, so you've eleven tattoos in nine years. Yeah, at that rate of Decent going, rate. you're going to be busy. Yeah, that's like as like many an Erling Haaland tattoo do. rate. Do you think you'll ever stop? Nah, just keep going. Ah, sure. Oh, Your a body's a canvas, lads. You know. Have you any no go areas? Uh, <laughs> I'm one, sorry. one in particular. But, um, <laughs> Have you any? I'll <laughs> 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 oh, the word. That. Yeah, I would do. I, I would do. I think. I think. Look, there would be no go. The body's just a, a vessel. Do you know? Would you get anything around your face or? No, I was sorry. I wouldn't. I wouldn't get anything on the face. Anything after that is fair game. Anything after that is fair game, yeah. Right. Is your philosophy the opposite to my body as a temple? I think that's unfair. Well, both, the, like, look after your body health, health-wise, but, I mean, the outside of it doesn't really but matter. Nothing, why is your body not a temple if you're Scribbled on it like a child. I was wondering, was Vestal the opposite to temple? It, it, the tattoos remind me of, of uh, happy moments and, and good things. Yeah. So I think, huh? I think there's a good reason to get them, you know? See. Okay. So. Proceed. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what a, a limp end. The Thank content, God. That's the Friday Fire Pit.